Surgery to repair a large hole in the eardrum can be accomplished through the ear canal. First, the skin of the ear canal along with the perforated eardrum is lifted off the bone. A graft is then placed in such a way that it lays under the eardrum after the skin is placed back down into normal position. A small piece of cartilage is often placed to provide support to the graft. Dissolvable gel foam sponges are placed to help keep everything together as it heals. Please note that in reality, the skin flap is elevated off the backside of the ear canal and not from the bottom as shown in the animation. After cleaning the ear canal and the remnant eardrum, the ear canal skin is incised using a round knife. The ear canal skin is then carefully elevated off the bone down towards the eardrum. Here the remnant eardrum is being elevated in continuity with the ear canal skin off the bone. At this point, the middle ear cavity is entered. The graft material to repair the eardrum is obtained from the tracheal cartilage. After incising the skin, a small piece of cartilage along with the overlying perichondrium is harvested. The perichondrium being removed from the cartilage is the graft material used to reconstruct the eardrum and the cartilage to help provide support. After harvesting the graft materials, dissolvable gel foam sponges are used to fill the middle ear cavity. The perichondrium graft will rest on these sponges which are placed to support the reconstruction. Here the graft is being placed first down on top of the gel foam sponges followed by the eardrum and ear canal skin. Once it has been assessed that enough gel foam sponges have been placed, the small piece of cartilage is placed between the graft and gel foam to provide further support now and after the sponges have all dissolved away. More gel foam sponges are placed for support. The eardrum, graft, and ear canal skin are then all laid back down into normal position. More gel foam sponges are placed in the ear canal to help keep everything together in normal position as the reconstructed eardrum heals.